Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a cooking video, but this time it's by Foodie Beauty Chantel. And I gotta say, this one really surprised me. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Simply Sarah. I mean, creepy pasta. Okay, so creepy pasta, yes. Today I'm going to try to replicate a recipe from Simply Sarah, mac and cheese recipe. So we're gonna be doing that and we're gonna be talking about creepy shit today because I love creepy shit. So if you love creepy shit and you love pasta, you're gonna like my creepy pasta series. Speaking of shit, I will fart for you. Where? On your face. Wow, so hot. I'm using elbow macaroni that has fiber because this mac and cheese has a lot of cheese. So if you ever want to be able to Again, fiber smart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have any problems in that area. Oh god, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh my god, this is not good. Yeah, that didn't sound good. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll chat to your people while you're... Don't let the... them go off here. Yeah. Hi, people. I guess without further ado guys, let's get to, let's get to. All right guys, so first step is melting. I melted three tablespoons of butter and I added two tablespoons of flour to make a roux. That's one thing Chantel has over in Berlin. There's no way she knows how to make a roux and I doubt she even knows how to spell it. So we're going to just whisk that around and let it cook for about a minute until the raw flour taste is gone. Next, I added a half a cup of whole milk, and I'm going to give that a little whisk around. Now I'm adding one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to give that also a good whisk, mix it very well. I've added the seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. No salt because the butter and cheese are going to be salty, but all the seasonings, including salt, are to your taste. All right, now goes in the cheese. You wanna cook it down until you have a smooth, creamy, velvety texture of cheese sauce. Yum, yum. Now I've added about three quarters of a whole package of elbow macaroni. Mama, that's what good pussy sounds like. To put so this part is totally optional, but I'm adding more shredded cheese on top of my mac and cheese. And this is ready to now go into the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And there it is, out of the oven, completely bubbly and ready to eat. Okay, let's compare the Foodie Beauty mac and cheese with Wifey's mac and cheese. I mean, there really isn't a comparison. One looks creamy and cheesy and delicious, and the other looks like dry and gross and overcooked. Gotta give it to Chantel. She knows how to make a mean mac and cheese. Whew. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so... By the way, you don't like seeing people eat like a pig, drink like a pig, maybe burp like a pig, fart, I don't know, who knows. Probably not the video for you. <laughs> this is the Simply Sarah mac and cheese. This looks amazing. Like, oh my gosh, so creamy. <laughs> okay, now, Let's get to, let's get to, I already said that in my intro. I don't even know where to start. This is gonna be like lava. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, oh shoot. I think it's good. Cheesy beauty bite. <laughs> mm. Mm. I've definitely seen that face before. Yep, there it is. <laughs> So she nailed the mac and cheese. Let's see how she does with the next recipe. We are going to make chicken parm. So without further ado, let's get to, let's get to. All 
right, now I'm just whisking an egg here. Uh, three eggs, sorry. Three large eggs. So for each chicken breast, I'm just going to add a bit of the egg, let it marinate a bit while I prepare the sauce. I'm gonna put some olive oil here. I'm gonna add the onion in and the garlic. All right, it's been out three minutes. So now I'm gonna add the tomato paste. I'm gonna use about half of a small can here. I'm gonna add a bit more olive oil. Now I'm gonna add some San Marzano tomatoes. And again, I'm gonna add about half the can and crush them myself because sometimes I like to have a little bit of chunkiness. All right, so we're gonna add some salt, some garlic powder, some basil, dry basil. A little bit of Italiano blend, has some oregano and other herbs. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna let it cook down. That sauce honestly looks pretty good. All right guys, so what I'm gonna use for my breading uh, is some Parmesan cheese. I think I put about a half a cup. Some breadcrumbs, regular breadcrumbs. You can use seasoned breadcrumbs, would be really nice with this. And also some panko, because the panko or the Japanese breadcrumbs, as they call them, are more crunchy, you know. So now what we're gonna do is coat the chicken breasts and then get them ready to fry. So I've turned my sauce off and I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Excuse me of the hiccups. Uh. Um, so my chicken's been marinating and marinating in the egg mixture. And I'm gonna drop my, and work with this hand to coat <laughs> the chicken. Okay, here's where she loses me. First of all, we know her cats walk all over that countertop and she never really wipes it down. Second of all, she never washes her hands. I don't care if that chicken is gonna get baked in the oven. There's no telling what's on it after she touched it. I got this side. It wants to be nice and crunchy. I have a pan heating up with some, see that? With some olive oil. These are gonna be long. Oops, wrong hand. I always do that. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't really measure when I cook. That's the only thing with my cooking videos is I just kind of guess. What? Go away. Okay, there we go. These are nice little cutlets I made for myself and Pete's. All right, let's get ready to fry these babies. We are gonna be having spaghettini with our meal. That's our choice. Kind of like angel hair pasta. You can have whatever pasta you like on the side. But it's pasta. Now I've grown up, it's pasta. All right guys, now comes the fun part. Putting it in the oven so we can eat it. This is what the chicken turned out like. My sauce here. So we're just gonna scoop some of the tomato sauce on the chicken here. And I have some mozzarella, shredded pizza mozzarella. Each piece is gonna have a lot of cheese. Yes, indeed, it's going to. And we're gonna just put this in a 400 degree oven just until the cheese is nice and bubbly and browning. So, let's put it in the oven. All right, it's about to come out of the oven, which is really hot right now. Woo, that looks good. All right. Ooh, hello guys, well it's ready. The spaghetti looks kind of dry, but if I didn't know you had made this meal, I'd say it looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a bite of this chicken and spaghetti at the same time. So I put a bit of parm cheese. So cheesy. <laughs> Yum. All right, so let's take a nice bite here. Mix it with the spaghetti. Yum. <laughs> Can you 
you can see beauty bites that tomato sauce is so good so I don't know about you guys, but I was honestly pretty shocked at how good the food looked that she made. Definitely way better than anything Amberlynn's ever made. But let me know what you think down in the comments.